Hello, great children. Hello, number crunchers. Hello, leaders of tomorrow. How are you all doing today? Hope you're doing great. Are you happy to be here? Okay, I'm always happy to be here to teach you. You're welcome to our numeracy class, and this is Miss Faith. Today we'll be crunching something fun. Okay, we'll be crunching something fun. This is what you've been doing for some time now, and then I found out that some of you still have um, problems. You still struggle with doing this particular um, topic in your numeracy. So I want us to work on this today. So our topic in the Mercy today is numbers after. Numbers after. Now you might be saying, oh, well, numbers after, this is very simple, I can do it and all that. But there is this particular one that most of you struggle with doing. How to count, identify, and write the numbers that come after numbers that end with nine. You know, we call them ending numbers. Like when you get to, when you start counting from one and you get to nine, what number comes next? You say 10. Okay, when you get to, when you count, continue counting from 11 and then you get to 19. What number comes next? Now, that is what we want to learn today. Without you going to count over again from 1 to know the number that comes after 19, the simple logic, the simple trick with which you can do it, that is what we we'll want to learn today. Okay? Now, this is your number chart. You have numbers 1 to 100 here. I know if I ask you to count 1 to 100, you will even sing it to me. I trust you all for that. But this is what I want us to know. All these numbers, 9, 10, 19, 20, 29, 30, some of you still struggle with it. When you get to maybe 29, some will even say 10. Some will say 100 and okay it's um it's causing me a lot of pain because i don't want you to go through all those type of stress all the time okay so there is a simple trick we're going to learn today now look at all these numbers that end with nine what numbers come after them you can observe or you observe that the numbers that come after the numbers that end with 9 end with 0. Look at 9. After 9 comes 10. 10 ends with 0. After 19 comes 20. 20 ends with 0. And so on. So you get to 99 and 100. Observe. When a number ends with 9, the number that comes after ends with 0. The number that comes after ends with zero. Good. Now let's look at, let's take notes. The digit standing beside nine tells you what the next number that ends with zero should start with. Hmm, I'm going to take that again. The digit standing beside 9 tells you what the next number that ends with 0 should start with. Now, do you understand that? Okay, maybe you don't understand that. Let's move on. You understand it in a bit. Okay. These are numbers from 1 to to 10. Now you can see number 9 here. 
after 9 comes 10 right that is very simple I know most of you can do 1 to 10 if I ask you if I give you number 9 what number comes after 9 you can tell me it's 10 now if we move on okay we move on from 10 we have 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 now the previous slide said the digit standing beside 9 tells you what the next number that ends with 0 should start with now look at this this is 19 here you have 1 and 9 what's the digit standing beside 9 it is 1 now after 1 comes what 2 so you write 2 there remember the number will end with 0 what is the digit standing beside 9 the digit standing beside 9 is 1 and you know we are counting forward but doing we are treating numbers after so this is 1 1 is the number that tells us what the next number that ends with 0 should start with after 1 is 2 so we have 2 there and then we add a 0 so 19 20 do we understand okay let's take that let's take these numbers off okay um let me pick 29 now this is 29 what number comes after 29 remember the digit standing beside 9 tells you what the next number that ends with 0 should start with what's the digit standing beside 9 2 after 2 comes what 3 remember the number must end with 0 as simple as that okay let's move on to see various examples here we have 19 19 okay what's the number standing what's the digit standing beside 9 1 what number comes after 1 1 2 now we know 2 what's the number that we end it 0 so we have 19 20 let's move on here we have 29 and dash what number comes after 29 remember the digit standing beside 9 tells you what number what the number that ends with 0 should start with what is the digit standing beside 9? 2. So after 2 comes what? 3. So you write 3 and then 0. So you have 29, 30. Good. Now here we have 99. 99. Some of you, when you, when you ask, okay. 99 some we say 98 some we say 10 some we say 9010 are those answers correct no they are not so here we have 99 what is the number standing beside 9 we have 9 here now what number comes after 9 when you're counting 9 10 so we have 10 here and then you add another 0 because you can't say 99 10 that would not be correct 
10 is the number that comes after this first 9. Remember, then you add your 0. So 99, 100. 99, 100. 99, 100. Let's move on. Here we have 149. Now, when you move onto numbers, onto three digits numbers like this, you know, these are three digits numbers one, two, three, one, four, nine. There are three numbers there. What do you do first? You write down the first number, which is one. You write down the first number, which is one. And then you look at this number exactly before nine standing directly beside nine what is that number the number is four so after four comes what five remember it must end with zero so 149 150 good let's move on Now look at this number. We have 289. Then dash. What number comes before 289? Remember, when you have three numbers like this, when you have three digits numbers like this, you write down the first number. What's the first number? Two. Write it down immediately. The number we are working with is the number standing beside number nine what's the number standing beside number nine eight now after eight comes what nine so we write nine and then we'll make sure our number ends with zero so 289 290 now, what if you have 299? How do you do this? 299. Hmm, this is tricky. Now, look here. If I write down the first number, which is 2, and then I say, okay, 9 stands be beside 9. So, what number comes after 9? I say 10, and then I add my 0. Now, this is totally wrong because we are working with three digit numbers. So, our numbers must be three. Our answer here must be three numbers. But now, here we have four numbers, which makes our answer wrong. So, what do we do here? Now, when you get to 299 like this, all you need to do is pick these two numbers. That's 29. 29. So after 29 comes what? You know, we have done that before. After 29 comes 30. So we write 30 and then we add our zero. We add our zero. So 29, 30, we add our zero. So now we have 299, 300. 299, 300. Okay, so let's move on. All right, so here we have an assignment. You're going to do this on your own. So here you have an assignment to do. Numbers 19, 69, 139, 199, 269.
Okay, so when you do this assignment, send your answers to me in the comment section below this video. Okay, or you can snap and send to me so that I can correct your mistakes. And then you have to keep practicing. You have to keep practicing until you get better at it. Okay? So till I come your way again next time, be good and stay safe. Alright, if this video has been helpful to you, like, share, and subscribe for more. You can also follow on you can also follow me on my Instagram um, page. Look at my Instagram name there at Faith Seed. And then you can go to my YouTube channel, Faith Agbonoga. Okay? And then you can like, share, and subscribe for more. Bye bye.